And hi everybody. And uh, hope everyone's having a good day. The purpose of this video today is to learn about required equipment for instrument flight. And to do that today, we'll be using my 1967 Cherokee 235B. Um, this airplane is not currently IFR capable. Let's go see what kind of equipment we need in order to have this stuff. Now all of us have done, um, presumably, private pilot, in which case we learn through um, the FAR 91.205 equipment required for VFR flight. So obviously for instrument flight we're going to need a few more things. Um, so kind of rehash 91.205. Some of the things we need, of course, are airspeed indicator. Altimeter, magnetic direction indicator, otherwise known as a whiskey, tachometer, tachometer for each engine. This airplane only has one. Oil pressure gauge, temperature gauge if you're liquid cooled, oil temperature gauge if you are air cooled, manifold pressure. Which um, constant speed airplanes have, and some non constant speed airplane um, propellers have. Fuel gauge, all down there, part of that cluster. Landing gear position indicator, this is fixed gear, so we don't need that. Safety belts, and that's it. And for VFR night flight, of course, you're going to need a spare set of fuses, landing light, anti collision light, and position lights, and a source of power, battery. This airplane is battery powered. So some of the things we're gonna need extra for instrument flight are also uh, covered in the, underneath that same chapter, 91205. And some of those items we're gonna need, are, of course, are all the IFR day, and all the, or VFR day and VFR night instruments. Um, but we're also gonna need what's called a grab card. And the G stands for the generator alternator, which this airplane has an alternator, radios, two-way navigation equipment. Their safe planes equipped with a single KX-155 with comm and nav. That is the only source of communication for this airplane, so technically that would be uh, legal. Uh, altimeter, sensitive, adjustable for barometric pressure. So I have obviously um, adjustable altimeter and um, Altitude encoding capability. Um, fall and slip indicator, which this aircraft has. A clock with hours, minutes, and seconds. It's not wound up, but um, it's on there. Aircraft equipment. Attitude indicator, of course. Uh, rate of turn indicator, of course. Turn, otherwise known as a turn coordinator and a directional gyro. This airplane has a directional gyro, um, but it is inoperative. So actually I probably ought to put an inop sticker on there as per the requirements. Um, so yeah, this just kind of goes to show you what equipment's required to fly um, IFR in your aircraft. This is obviously limited to, um, this example is limited to this single GA airplane, uh, 1967 Piper Cherokee 235. Um, but the requirements are the same. So that pretty much sums up our requirements. Have a lot of stuff. Some of it doesn't work. Don't need it for VFR flight. I'm okay with that for now. But uh, once I get done with this class and get qualified, I'm going to have to fix that. Have a good day.